Wait a second. This doesn't have anything to do with Dracula. Prepare for launch. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs coming to you once again from the Nerd Den located high atop Luna Base and today we are taking a much anticipated look at the vamp with Clutch. There he is right there. Ah, uh, Let's get into it. Alright let's start off by checking out the box is the G.I. Joe Clutch with Vamp, multi-purpose attack vehicle. Got a nice image of the Vamp right here with Clutch hanging out by the driver's seat. Got a little bit of an Easter egg. Got the uh, Cobra Ferret hiding in the background there. Then we got a nice little window showing off Clutch there. Uh, this is number 112, already up to 112. That's impressive. Then on the back of the box showing off what all is inside. There is Clutch with all his accessories. Nice side profile of the vamp. And some little call outs. Uh, Clutch got tattoos. <laughs> uh, brake lights, little rear view mirror. Got the interior there with the dashboard. Uh, there's the barcode on the bottom. Got some uh, artwork of clutch here on the side there's this tattoo right there very cool and another bit of artwork on this side all his call outs a little qr code kind of hard to get all in frame this is a really big box so uh let's get it open and see what's inside all right, this is what it looks like right out of the box. Got a little flap here on top of the vamp. Uh, the wheels are not attached. Looks like we gotta put a few accessories on there. We have a uh, clutch there. And uh, speaking of accessories, his little accessory box is right here under the figure. Number 112 again, got the G.I. Joe star. So very cool. Well, I get to that in just a minute. Did get a little pamphlet here showing how everything goes together. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to get all this opened up and assembled and then we'll check it out. All right, I've got the vamp out of the box and all assembled. This thing has lots of accessories. Uh, so let's go over those real quick. Uh, you have to assemble everything. First off, you got to put the wheels on. Uh, they are rubber wheels. Uh, they are hollow. And I've got just a little bit of wiggle on them. The steering wheel does not affect those. Uh, we've got the big dual 50 cals on the back here. Have a little ammo boxes. Uh, the instructions say to put the ammo boxes down here, but to me it makes more sense to have them up on this little platform right here. So I'm not sure why they said to do that. Then uh, inside you got a fire extinguisher in the back window there. And on the back we got some uh, gas cans and a fire axe. Uh, just in case. <laughs> I uh, do have a little trailer hitch for future accessories, hopefully. Got standaway back there, United States caution, got the tail lights. Uh, there is a sticker, or not sticker, uh, some paint for a first aid kit. Got some OS bars on each side <laughs> to uh, hold on to things. Got a light bar going across the top. Uh, windshield does flip down so that's cool got a little bit of tinting at the uh, top so that's a nice touch got a shovel here that clips in on the front a little pack and uh, some sort of engine cover uh, I assume got the winch up here which does operate so you can pull the string out 
and then just use this little wheel right here to wind it back up. There you go. Another light bar on the front here. Some little haul hitches right here. And let's see if the engine cover opens. Looks like it does. Yeah, so there you can check out the engine. Uh, really not much going on there. <laughs> uh, United States caution. We've got your GI Joe star right there. Got a little tool kit slot right there. Got GI Joe on the side. Then you got the dashboard inside with the interior. Got your steering wheel and uh, gauges and whatnot. Looks like you got a little map there in the center and uh, some communications. <laughs> Even got tunes over here. <laughs> and a little uh, place. Uh, looks like a flashlight right there on the passenger side. I uh, got some tan seats in there. So yeah, very cool. Uh, very excited about this one. I uh, had the vamp growing up. Uh, <laughs> I would show it to you, but it is very, very poor condition. <laughs> so I'm not going to put you through that. But uh, yeah, very cool to get the vamp in hand. Uh, let's check out Clutch next. All right, let's take a look at Clutch now. Uh, start off with his accessories. I've got a little pistol here. Uh, not much going on there. Simple, uh, kind of dark gray plastic. Got a little bit of brown paint on the grip there. Got a few stars on the handle. Uh, got a shotgun. Again, pretty simple and straightforward. Nothing too fancy. No laser guns anymore. <laughs> so that's kind of exciting. I uh, do have a red wrench in case Clutch needs to make some repairs. Again, it's just a simple red plastic with a little bit of black paint on it. And then he does have this uh, helmet uh, that you can place on him. Got the cool little shark teeth. Red visor. Uh, he does come with a helmet already, but if you don't want this look, this does just come off. And I assumed this was going to be a separate head sculpt, but it actually is just a helmet. It just uh, goes on the figure. So I guess you can put this on any of your Joes if you really want to. But there's a look at that. I will definitely be going with the more traditional helmet. But uh, let's check out the figure. I uh, got the uh, flag here on his shoulder. Got a holster for the pistol up on his chest. We'll go ahead and put that in there. Uh, articulation, yeah, pretty standard. You can get his beard up in front of his collar there. And this is just an overlay here, so it's nice and rubbery. So it doesn't really get in the way too much. Uh, you get your nice T-pose. We do have some butterfly joints that have actually quite a bit of range on them. So that's nice. Double jointed elbows. A nice look at that uh, tattoo there. That's really cool. Little pinup girl with uh, some pistons there. Uh, the hand, it's got the back and forth wrist and a trigger finger for the pistol. Uh, we do have actually quite a bit back and forth. There is a hinge underneath the overlay right there. Then not a ton of mobility at the waist there. At least not as much as I was expecting. This belt is separate, so it can move wherever it needs to, as long as as well as the uh, the belt on his thigh here. It's kind of ridden up a little bit, but you can pull that down easy enough. 
And we got a little flashlight. Uh, I don't know, some sort of little tools, little pouch. I don't know, maybe that's a tire pressure gauge. <laughs> I'm not sure what that blue thing is. Uh, got the uh, usual G.I. Joe drop down hips. Kicks off to the side very nicely. Swivel, the top of the thigh there. Double jointed knees. So yeah, lots of bend there. Uh, do have a cut at the top of the boot, so that's nice. Uh, the boots are very nice. Uh, black, a little spat of uh, brown there with some laces. Uh, kicks forward, back, and it does rocks. Uh, yeah, no problem with uh, positioning the feet. Do kind of wish that hinge was browned uh, blend in with the boot a little bit better but yeah it's a nitpick uh he's probably going to be in the driver's seat anyway so you're not going to see his feet uh see we do have a spot for a backpack but he does not come with a backpack so uh i'll have to figure out if there's somewhere to stow the shotgun and the wrench somewhere on the vamp itself i'll, I'll look around see if there's somewhere i can stick all that stuff but there you go uh, nice looking uh, figure, like the face sculpt, got the manly beard, <laughs> little tufts of hair down the front, very cool, very nice looking figure, oh, got another tattoo over here, don't want to overlook that, that looks like uh, some finish line flags, can't quite make out what the rest of it is, so yeah, really cool figure. Let's uh, get them loaded into the vamp, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, here we go. Have Clutch in the driver's seat of the vamp. And this is such a cool vehicle. So glad I picked this up. This went up for pre-order back in October, and uh, just now coming out, but well worth the wait. Uh, if you didn't pre-order it back in October, there were a few more made available right before it released. Uh, so hopefully you got in on that. Uh, if not, I don't know if they're going to come out with more in the future. Hopefully they do, because I really want everyone that wants this vehicle to be able to pick it up. Because it is a very, <laughs> very nice addition to the G.I. Joe Classified Collection. Uh, if you did pick it up, let me know what you think about yours. Uh, if there are any things that uh, you don't like about it. Uh, maybe some things I missed uh, calling out when I was going over it. Feel free to leave a comment below. But uh, yeah, like I said, just a great looking vehicle. But uh, if you are new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss my uh, next Closer Look video or one of my mini toy hunts. But that's all I've got for today. I will see you guys next time around.